to you all. Amen. This morning, I'll be speaking on what he has helped me to title, You and Your Environment. You and Your Environment. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a banner for that. Can we have it displayed? The Lord will speak to you even as he uses me. Matthew 17. Can I ask you to open a Bible to Matthew 17? Reading from verse 24 to 27. You and your environment. Matthew 17. Reading from verse 24 to 27. I read for you and it goes thus. And when they were come to Capernaum, they that received tribute, money, came to Peter and said, Do it not your master pay tribute? He said, Yes. And when he was coming to the house, Jesus prevented him, saying, What in case thou, Simon, of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute, of their own children or of strangers? Peter said unto him, Of strangers. Jesus said unto him, Then are the children free. Notwithstanding, lest we should offend them, go thou to the sea and cast an hook and take up. And when the house, I mean, and cast an hook and take up a fish that first cometh up. And when thou hast opened his mouth, thou shalt find a piece of money. Take it and give unto them for me and for thee. Amen. Have you read this before? What comes to your mind? Sa, ma, money from the mount of a fish. Let's try to think about it together. That's minted money. Minted money. Minted money in the mount of a fish. Obviously, assume with me that it's a coin. <laughs> Isn't it? If it was a, a note, it might be squeezed and wet. So let's assume it's a coin. Isn't it? Minted coin in the mount of a fish. It's like one pound in the mount of a fish. Friends. That talks about the ability of God. <laughs> that talks about the ability of God, beloved. And what we shared last week, and which we, this week we proceed. <laughs> last week we talked about you and your covenant. And I told you by the, the leading of the Lord that wealth is already in you because you have a covenant with God, except you are not a Christian. And those who were not Christian last week gave their life to Christ. Or rededicate your life to Christ. As long as you are in God, as long as you are a child of God, you're already wealthy. And we learn that the issue is to know how to bring out the wealth in you. Amen. Let's listen to that message again. We learned last week that your wealth is you. Your wealth is you. The capacity for your wealth is inside you. The potential for your wealth is inside you. Your wealth is actually inside you. Let it come out. It might be difficult for you to understand and believe, but it's the truth. God will give you understanding. It's in you. It's in you. It's the same thing, summary of what the Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18, that it is the Lord that giveth you power to get wealth. And I told you, all you need is obedience. If Peter didn't go, he wouldn't get that money. Obedience. And your wealth will spring forth. Obedience. And the second part, we talk about two things you need to do. To be obedient to God and want to share. To be someone who is willing to share. Please listen to that message. Today, let's go on with you and your covenant. It's essential. And the essence also of this conference 
is to ins- give you and instill in you and I God's mindset for your prosperity. God's mindset. You are already programmed wealthy. <laughs> Permit my word, I'm, I'm an IT professional. <laughs> you are already programmed wealthy. Wealth is already inside you. What you and I need is to manifest. It's to manifest. <laughs> to manifest. Very important. To manifest. And today we want to look at you and your environment. Why do you want we want why do we want to look at your environment? Because your wealth is in your environment. And the capacity to be worthy is inside you. The catalyst for the springing of that wealth is in your environment. Please take note. You and your covenant, you and your environment. We'll see where it takes us to last week. Genesis 26, let us read. Genesis chapter 26. Multimedia helped me to make sure this message is being recorded. There are some people in some quarters that want it even before we finish. Genesis 26, reading from verse 1. Please read with me. There's a lot to learn here. Genesis 26, reading from verse 1. And it goes thus while I read for you. And there was famine. Listen to it as I read. Help me to release yourself that the Holy Spirit speak to your spirit and your heart. And there was famine in the land. Beside the first that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went into Ambimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gera. He went unto Gera. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt. I take it again. Go not down into Egypt. In their days, Egypt was like the civilized, the western world. Are you with me? The Western world, the US of A today, the UK of A today, whereas again, the Dubai of today, you know, it was just the Western world where civilization is bubbling, for short of words to use. It says, Go not down into Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell of thee of. So join in this land, and I will be with thee. And will bless thee, for unto thee and unto thy seed, I will give all these countries. And I will perform the oath which I swore unto Abraham thy father. Remember, their covenant. And I will make thee, uh, I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven. And I will give unto thy seed all these countries, and in thy seed shall all nations of the earth. Be blessed. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my child, my covenant, my commandment, my status, and my laws. Verse 6, and the Bible says, and Isaac dwelt in Gera. God gave him an environment and he stayed there. Amen. Permit me to go further to read from verse 12. I'll fly. I read from verse 12 to verse 14 again. Something else there to capture. Then Isaac, verse 12 now, then Isaac sold in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him in that land. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great in that land. I'm the one adding in that land, just for emphasis. Verse 14, for he had possession of flocks and possession of heads and great store of servant, and the Philistines envied him. He was obviously wealthy. Stay in the environment God placed you. 
in addition, master the environment. Your wealth is in your environment. As you are sitting here today, you are all in the United Kingdom. Your wealth is here. Amen. You need to master this. Very important. How to make wealth. How to manage wealth. How to multiply wealth. There are many making wealth do not know how to manage. There are many making and managing do not know how to multiply. In as much as the wealth is inside you, if you do not know how to make it, it will remain there. You won't see any manifestation. I'm telling you the truth. If you don't know how to manage it, it will remain there at that level, at that level. If you don't know how to multiply, it will be the same. Amen. I told you last week. I'm telling you again. Everybody is ordained to be wealthy. You say, Pastor, why? Everybody, even those who are poor, they say time that they should transit to wealth. Only if they refuse to transit. It can be said that a child of God is poor. Is it complete? It is not complete. It can't be said that a child of God is poor. He might be poor. Do is poor. It's not going to remain poor. It doesn't matter what you see now. But you should see his glory. Very important. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 gives us this answer. Let's read it. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 9 only. And then, in Ecclesiastes chapter 5, and verse 9, the Bible teaches you and I. It says, moreover, the profit of the earth is for who? Is for who? Is for who? All. 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 <laughs> Everything on earth is not a portion or created for some wealthy people or some set of people is for all. The Bible says, even the king is what? He's served by the field. Everybody, including those who are born royal, that they are, everybody's picking from the profit of the earth. You must know how to pick yours or else you just be there. And hear this, no man is going to do it for you. Listen to it again, write it down. The profit of the earth, according to God, from God, is for all. Very important. Very important. It's for all. You must understand and master how to make wealth. Maybe if I say how to make money, it will sound for you. But I told you last week that money is not prosperity. When you're prosperous, you have money is an exchange. I told you last week. How to make wealth? The maker. Proverbs 22, verse 2. Proverbs 22, verse 2. I want to show you another scripture so that, you see, what we are talking about will sink in into your spirit. And you shouldn't remain the same. You shouldn't. Proverbs 22 and verse 2, what does it say? The rich and the poor meet one. Who is who created them? It's a God. The Lord is the maker of them all. The rich and the poor, they what? They met together. The rich and the poor, they were in a meeting with God. And God is the what? Maker of them all. So that a man is poor, God is his creator. The one who is rich, God is his creator. Do you think he's a partial God? No. No. 
Inside everybody is the capacity for wealth. It is there. It is there. The rich found it out. The poor haven't. That's the difference. That's the difference. You and I may analyze, which is good, that, okay, my riches came during my 30s. Mine came during my 40s. It will come. It will surely come. But the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. If you want it to show forth in your 20s, it will show forth. If you want it to show forth in your 30s, it will show forth. I wish I knew what I knew now. If you want it to show forth in your 40s, it will show forth. If you want, if you want to wait till 50, that's when it will show forth. Amen. Because God is the maker of them all. And the earth is divided into two kinds of people like this. The rich and the poor. Amen. You must master how to manage money. You must. Luke chapter 16 and verse 8. Let's read that too. Luke chapter 16 and verse 8. I'm hearing somebody's spirit. So where are we going? God is, is taking us somewhere. Luke chapter 16 and verse 8. What does it say? Let us read. Luke chapter 16 and verse 8. We must manage money. In Luke 16 verse 8, it says, And the Lord commended the unjust word, because he had what? Done wisely. You must do one wisely with money. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of what? Light. The children of light that the Bible is talking about there is Christians. Why is it that many Christians don't know how to manage money, how to multiply money, and the unbelievers know more than us? Why is it so? Amen. You must also know how to multiply money. We will learn this in the course of this conference. It's very important. Last week we talked about it. You and your covenants. The origin of your wealth is from your covenant. We talk about it. You are either getting wealth from Babylon or you are getting wealth from divine, from heaven. Any man in the world, his wealth either comes from Babylon or his wealth came from above. Every man in this world, there's no three, there's no third one. Every man in this world, if he's wealthy now or he, he will be wealthy, the wealth will either come from Babylon or it will come from heaven. <laughs> Amen. Be faithful to your covenant with God. Be faithful to your covenant with God. Why are we hammering these things? Because kingdom wealth is entrusted. You had the guest speaker mentioned it on, on, on Wednesday also. <laughs> kingdom wealth is entrusted. The one that is from God is entrusted. It means it only manifests when you can be trusted. I'm telling you the truth. Search the scripture. The one from Babylon is given to destroy. There's wealth from Babylon too. Oh, 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 you haven't seen. One of these days you will hear testimony from those who were in <laughs> with the devil before and then they became uh, uh, born again, they're now in Christ. They will tell you that the devil really, really give wealth. I told you, a man's word is either from Babylon or from above. Today we want to die for that. Discussing about your environment because your wealth is in your environment. Don't look further. Your wealth is in your environment. The mastery of your environment is important because it either contributes to your advantage or disadvantage. The environment can make you backslide. The environment can change your belief. I have seen people came into this country. Where, as they were coming, they were Christians, fervent, and they came into this country, and then they, the flame upon their life died. <laughs> as in, they even backslid it. The flame upon their life died. Was it that this man didn't like God, didn't love God? Yes. 
He did. He does. He loved God. But the environment captured him. The environment can make you backslide. It can change your belief. It can swallow your devotion. Some people believed in time before they came to this country. But it's when things, they just believe what others were saying. There are some people, from wherever they, as they enter this country, they will change their belief. Your environment, it will change you. A mastery of your environment is important for your life. Very important. Some people's devotion to God, it has dwindled. Why? The environment. Your environment determines your encounter. Take notes. Take notes. Because inside the environment, every environment, there are principalities in charge. I can tell you the principality in this area. This area is called Wibram Road. Wibram Road. And then, you know, I can tell you the principalities from, you know, this road. <laughs> Many of you don't know some spirituality. Let me not digress. <laughs> this princess road, there's a principality in charge of this princess road. There's a principality here. <laughs> yeah. This church, and the, the principality knows, and the principality of this area, no, he knows me. He knows me. You can plant a church here. Yeah? <laughs> and the, Principality. So there are principalities. You must master your environment. That's spiritual. Let me not take you. I'm not going spiritual today. I'm not going spiritual today. But financially also, you must master your environment. It is important to study the national psychology of the country you reside. How many of you know that every country has a national psychology? Where you reside, where you do business, is important. To know the national psychology of the country you reside. Very important. Proverbs 22, verse 3. Let me show you something there. Proverbs 22 and verse 3. Very important. In Proverbs 22, verse 3, the Bible says, A prudent man, what? Foreseeth evil and hideth himself, but a simple person and are punished. You must, you and I, we must understand the structure of the environment. Understand the structure of UK is different from other structure. The UK structure is different from the structure in France, in the United States, in Nigeria, in Ghana, in South Africa. Every country has the structure of the country. So it is important for you and I, because of our wealth, to understand the national psychology of the country you reside in. And the ups and down, the ups and the limitations. Understand the economy of your environment. Understand the powers in your environment. The Bible says the children of Israel are, I mean, the children of Issachar, they are people that understand the times and know what Israel ought to do. So it's important for you. The reason why some of us, our wealth is, has not springed up is because you have not mastered your environment. Amen. Very important. Your environment determines the growth of your finances. You must learn how to take advantage of it. Beat it. Manage it. Beat it. Very important. Understand the inflation. The inflation. The rates. <clears throat> Financial people will tell you that what powers everything is inflation, isn't it? What powers everything is the rates. Understand the economy of the United Kingdom if this is where you reside. It's different from the economy of any other country you came from. If you were not born here. It's different. It's different. So for the wealth in you to spring forth, you must understand the economy of the country in which you reside in. I was born in a nation called um, in Africa called Nigeria. So when I came here, to be living, like, to carry the mentality and the mindset of a Nigerian into UK was wrong. But nobody told me, as you are learning, the UK system, the economy is powered by a credit system. Where I was coming from, the economy wasn't powered like that. 
and the economy here enables me to have the kind of house that I'm living, which I enjoy. I don't think I will have that kind and in that speed from where I'm coming from. Are you getting what I'm saying? The economy of this nation is a credit system. A credit system. <laughs> I sat down one day and I began to look at my house, which I called my house. And I'm saying, look, eventually, I'm going to buy this house, double the price. But that's the economy. But the economy enables me to begin to enjoy that house now. <laughs> Are you with me? Thank you. <laughs> and it enables me to begin to enjoy that as now, which where I came from, that's not possible. I have to wait. I saw my father laying blocks upon blocks. <clears throat> I'm not joking. <laughs> the way my father built our house, he was, he was building weekly. <laughs> maybe, maybe I exaggerated too much. Like monthly. Monthly, when a salary came, some towards the house, they buy, buy some block, and a, a man called a bricklayer will go and put that block, and then it goes higher. In another month, it goes higher. It goes higher. Then it go, it go to a stage. And I was asking, what next? He said, the next thing now is decking. What's called decking? And after some time, the roof. And the rain was beating the roof, beating the roof, beating the roof. Then somebody came to advise him. That uh, the way the rain is beating this roof is weakening. So they had to put the roof. So he had to get some money to quickly do the roofing. And I could recall all he went through. All he went through. In my age, he was working. In my age, when my father was my age. And I am living in a house maybe much more or better, you know, and I didn't have to go through that. Why? Because of the economy system of a country. Until you master the economy, you and your environment, you won't be able to understand how your wealth can spring forth. Amen. Very important. Very important. So you need to master the economy of where you reside, your environment, and use it. Because the heaven expects you to use it. That's why you are placed there. He told Isaac, don't move to Egypt. Maybe the system of Egypt will not favor him. So he told him, don't move. <laughs> are you with me? If, if you are in the UK, you understand that the UK economy, you are not rich because you work hard. You are rich because you are innovative. You are able to use the credit economy and the credit system. My father didn't have a second house before he died. I'm able to get a second house because of a credit system, which I begin to master, master. I haven't fully paid for a house I'm living in. That same house is giving birth to another house by something they call equity. Some of you don't understand. If you understand equity, can I see your answer? <laughs> can I see your answer? I'm serious. Equity on a house, can I see your answer? Ah, only a few. I have a lot of work to do. My God. And my law. Only few of us in this church understand what it means to have equity on a house. Can you see the essence of a financial conference? <laughs> Can you see the essence? Don't miss Wednesday. Practical is on Wednesday. <laughs> Don't miss Wednesday. Are you getting what I'm saying now? <laughs> Are you getting it? <laughs> As I am now, if I decide that. Ah, brothers and sisters, I'm going back to where I was born, which is Nigeria. I am not going empty-handed because there is an equity of a six-digit figure on a house that I have not finished paying. 
But I can have that money if I exit. Are you understanding what I'm saying? <laughs> how did it happen? It's called how to multiply your wealth. Some environment makes it possible. Some environment do not make it possible. You and your environment must be mastered. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? You must master your environment. You must have an invest investment mindset. You must be able to differentiate assets and liabilities. I told you last week, wealthy people turn money into what? Assets. And I told you, if you search my account, you will see thousands and thousands there because they are not meant to be there. They are thrown into investments. You know them, bonds. Bonds. Things that multiply money. We need to have an investment mentality, mindset. Asset produce more. My time is well spent. I'm summarizing now. Asset produce more. Asset work for you. Asset work for you. To break through. Uh, Pastor Rich, you have to give me more minutes. Can I have? <laughs> Just a little bit more. <laughs> to break through in this nation's economy, you must have access to capital. And there are ways you get capital. <laughs> Very important. There are ways you get capital. No time for me. I summarize it. You, somebody will say, ah, do you mean I can just get capital? Yeah, you get capital with a good credit profile. <laughs> yes. What you so many of you are running after due to wrong knowledge is what the wealthy are using. In this country, either you like it or not, you must have a credit profile and it must be good. <laughs> it must be good. When it, was ex when it was told to me and not explained, I told them, no, I'm not in for debt. <laughs> what do you mean? For me to be using credit card? <laughs> no, no, no. I told them, I don't want it. I don't want credit card. No, it, it damages. And until a professional came to tell me that, sir, you told me about your vision to be wealthy. <laughs> you need to raise what we call a credit profile in this country. He said, so he said, one of the ways to start it, you must have a credit card. He said, yeah, we don't like it, but that's how the system works. That's where I'm going. You must understand how the system works. So when I told him that, look, I don't want like to be in debt. He said, it's not about being in debt. It's about raising your credit profile. He now told me how to use it. He said, get a credit card. Use it to buy fuel and then pay it back. Be using it to buy the things that you need and then pay it back. Pay it back. Be using it to buy, pay it back. He said, if your discipline is not, my discipline is very sharp. He said, if your discipline is not sharp, cut the credit card. But just be used... I mean, attach it to maybe like Tesco Club card so that it will be shown that you are servicing your credit profile. That's the word I'm looking for. Your credit profile must be serviced. Because for you to get anything, it is... I lost English now. <laughs> it is... It's a necessity. To make it simple, if you want to get a mobile phone on tariff, what do they tell you they will do? <laughs> they run a what? credit check and you can't get it if you told them you have the right to say don't run a credit check on me if they don't run a credit check on you you can't get that phone <laughs> you, they, you can't have it you want to buy a house <laughs> they must run a credit check on you so everything that will make you wealthy in this environment is attached to your credit profile <laughs> building it is to your advantage are you understanding what we're saying this morning are you getting it? It's very important. Understand the structure of the country you live in. This country is structured in wealthy class, middle class. I don't have time. I'm rushing. The climbing class and the poor. I won't lie to you. You are in any of those class. This country is structured into the wealthy class, the middle class, the climbing class, and the poor class. I won't lie to you. You are in one of those classes. Very important. You must understand the structure and the dynamics of the... When I analyzed this, it took me a lot of research. The wealthy class and the middle class, 
the, there's a political party in this country, they service those class, and they are called conservative. The climbing class and the poor class, there's a political party in this country, they service those class, and they are called labor. That's why, you see, it is a war of two, politi uh, two political parties. That's what you see, but it is a war of economy. When the poly, uh, conservatives are in power, the rich are getting richer. What is the latest? They were rejoicing that corporation tax has been what? Lowered. Until there was a, a misunderstanding, a shaking, and then they had no choice. As far as the conservative party is concerned, they want to keep that corporation tax low. Why? Ah, no time. Dickness. Eh, for me, time more. For me, time means online. They didn't give me much time. You know, what I'm saying is, see, the corporation tax being lowered, it favors the rich because everybody who is in the wealthy class and middle class, they have a company. They have companies, including the sole trader. He has a company. So those in the climbing class and poor class, they don't have company. Majority are maybe climbing class workers, and they pay more tax. This, oh Lord, it's coming, but I don't have time. You must master your environment. You see, in the workings of your environment, you must master the taxation of your environment. The taxation of your environment, you must master it. The inflation of your environment, you must master. I'm not telling you, jargons, it's necessary for you to manifest the wealth that is already inside you. You must master the rates of your environment where you live. Some people say, how does all these things matter? Does it concern me? It concerns you if you want to be wealthy. It's important. Right now, the rich were rejoicing before because the uh, corporation tax was lowered from 25 to 19. Now, they've <clears throat> put it back because of the crisis. Now, the climbing class are okay. Not now, the climbing class are still in, and the middle class, they are still struggling because as they did something with the economy, what happened to the mortgage rates? They what? They rose up. What happened to savings rates? <laughs> what? It also rose up. Why? Because the savings rate favors the climbing and the poor. They, they are saving people. <laughs> but the middle class and the wealthy class, they are what? Asset people. Asset people. You must understand your environment. Your environment. It's not prayer alone. That's why we are having this financial conference. It's just a mastery of the environment needed. The government makes the rich richer. That's how the government is programmed. You have to climb the ladder into the middle class and where the class intentionally. Somebody say intentionally. Somebody say intentionally. And there are ways to do that. Somebody say intentionally. And there are ways to do that. Somebody say now. Somebody say now. Don't make a mistake. You must begin now. I set up a company while I was a student. Immediately I understood the knowledge. They didn't give me all this in details. They only told me to be wealthy, you need to have a company so that you pay less tax. And then I set up a company while I was a student. Now you understand it. When I was to work and I negotiate with my employer, I said, can you pay me as a company instead of as a individual? And he agreed. Are you getting these things? In some economy, you cannot just be giving back and giving back and giving back. Get pastor right. I'm not saying don't give back. If you want to have five children, have. <laughs> but there must be planning to it. It's possible in another country. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> you can be giving back. Because the structure are different. <clears throat> are you getting it? You must master the, even if you want to have five children, master that. Hey, I'm in UK. <clears throat> I'm in UK. 
<laughs> because the, the upbringing of children here will affect you. The going up or coming down of your wealth, if not mastered. <laughs> Get me right. I, I can't explain everything on the pulpit for you. <laughs> but you know it because you do it. You see how the nursery and the daycare system is expensive. It's almost half of your salary. Yes or no? <laughs> yes. So you must master. You must speak to your spouse. Let's play two at two. <laughs> Let's build the world. Later. How many do you want to have? Is it four? Is it three? Is it five? Then later. <laughs> okay. Many of you say, no, I want, to, I want to have all of them now. It doesn't work out in all economies like that. It doesn't work out in all economies like that. <laughs> at all. At all. If you like, bring grandma. At one time, even grandma will be tired. I, I want to go back home. <laughs> it, you have to master your, your environment. In Africa, it's okay. But here, it might not. You have to master it. Because why? At a point in time, before certain age, you must raise what we call capital in your world. And if you're not able to raise that capital because of the ch many children you've had, hey, Lord, I hope I'm balancing this message. <laughs> because you didn't do what we call family planning. I think I'm not using the right word, so my message might be, yeah, <clears throat> you didn't do family planning. And then because of that, the built up of your capital was affected. So when capital should now be multiplying money and making work for you, it can't because you didn't build it up when you should. Do you know at a certain age, you can't get mortgage anymore? And when you get to a certain age, many lenders will be refusing your mortgage because of your age. Because of your age. Are you getting distance? In the UK economy, the setup of this economy is to empower businesses and entrepreneurs. The taxation system reveals everything. I close. I close. I have to close. <laughs> Time is up. In this economy, you need to master your environment. In this your environment, a very sure ladder to activate the wealth inside you is real estate. Go and master it. Before you were born, it was the ladder everybody has been using. Now that you have been born and you are growing old, it is still the same ladder everybody is using. Shall we pray?